Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor. I'm a youngin. <laughs> uh, I just moved and I just wanted to do a little haul for you because kind of what happened is I moved without really having a lot prepared. Like I have stuff like this mirror and like uh, that's pretty much it. Recently I helped my mom clear out her garage. There's some stuff in there that we found that I thought would be pretty cool for me to have and so she let me have them. <laughs> so uh, I, that's what this haul is basically. So it's my mom's garage haul. My mom's garage is not a cool chic store here in the city. It's my mom's actual garage. Um, and just all the shit there, all the stuff, <laughs> all the things that I found that I thought would be useful for me in my future decorating slash usefulness in my home. First thing I guess, we'll go from smallest to biggest I think is what I'm gonna do. So the first thing I found was this reusable bag. Um, and I know it's in this little pouch and you're like, that's not a bag, but it's like, it unzips and it's super cool. Okay, hold on. <laughs> so it unzips and it's super cool cause it's compact and you can take it anywhere. And I've been trying to use more reusable bags. Oklahoma recently had the option to do the plastic bag thing that California does, but they didn't because Kevin Stitt wanted us to have all options open when it came to businesses. And that's, <laughs> we have a huge environmental issue and he just decided to not help at all. So I took it on myself to try my very, very best to use the least amount of plastic bags as I can. Um, specifically when going grocery shopping because I have about three reusable bags right now and since I live by myself and I don't have to buy a whole bunch of groceries a lot of the time three is pretty much enough and so when I found this one I was like oh crap this is great I can put it in my car I already have used it I've used it a couple of times actually um I can put it in my car and I can just have it ready um I guess next biggest thing is this just regular key hook thing that I picked up. I kind of love it. It's super normal, but it's also green. Uh, my mom was an AKA and I think that's why she had this green key hook. Um, and I wanted one for my my apartment because I have a little entryway area that I wanted to hang my keys in my person instead of always throwing my keys some random place and then in the morning I can't fucking find them. I kind of want to sand and stain these a darker color. I'm not sure yet. I think actually I will leave it a lighter color just because this wood is so dark. I just felt like they're kind of incongru. They didn't work together, this light and this dark green, but I think I'm gonna keep it. Next biggest thing is, and everything here has been green so far, but I promise there are other colors. So the next thing by size, I'd say is this Dooney and Burke bag that we found in a case that my grandma, uh, 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 we found in a in a container that had a bunch of stuff that my grandma had owned. Um, and so I found this Dooney and Burke bag. And like, I don't know if it's real, cause I checked, like I looked up, how do you know a Dooney and Burke bag is real? Um, and it had all the things, it has like the brass, um, like just jewelry and things like that. It has like the Dooney and Burke duck the leather is pebbled, like things like that, but it doesn't have the red and blue and white tag that a lot of Dunienberg bags have. So I assume that it's not real. Like it looks really, it's, and also it's missing this tassel, which is super lame. So I'm gonna try and find one and maybe get it replaced or something so that it doesn't look that bad. It smells like an old item that you found in the bottom of a container in a garage. Like that's what it smells like. and. But in general, it's cute. It's bigger than a bag that I usually would use. But I think that if I was going on like a trip or something, maybe that I would use this. And um, I really like Dooney and Burke bags. I like my family. My mom is a coach woman. So she only buys coach bags that are designer bags. But like, I like this bag and I've liked other Dooney and Burke bags. I like their backpacks specifically. They're super cute. Um, I like the contrasting colors. I like the leather. Um, this is the inside. So see, there's no tag in there. So I just don't know if it's real. If it's not real, I'm still gonna wear it. I don't have a problem with that. Um, I even looked up to see if I could find like what type of bag it was. It's, I think it's supposed to be like a bucket bag. Um, there was a website that I found that was like specifically a Dooney and Burke 
um, restoring, like a restoring old purses website. I don't know how to explain it, but that's what I found and I emailed them, but I haven't gotten anything back. So I don't know if they still do that or what. And there, I think there is one Dudenberg store in the state. I am not sure, but um, I figure I can probably just get some leather wipes and clean that out and let the bag air out in the sun or not in the sun because that'll change the color but you know what I mean um, because it just seems like it's a really nice bag it's just not a real one if it's not it's not it was my grandma's bag and I think it's still in pretty good shape and super vintage looking even if it isn't a real bag and if it is a real bag that'd be great um, if anybody knows anything about doing birth bags let me know um, maybe there's something I miss they said there are a couple bags that don't have the tags, but I don't know if this is one of them because there's also no serial number or anything attached to it. So the next thing is super, super cute um, are these pillows. They're also in the container that my grandma had her stuff in. So this is just a square pink one. And then this one is a white heart, which I, yeah, it's a white heart with these like fluffy things and this little ribbon at the bottom. I just think they're adorable. Like I love pillows a lot and these are just so cute together. And um, they smelled just like that Dooney Burke bag when they pulled them out. So we threw them in the wash and they were for super like fluffy and nice, but now they're kind of lumpy. So I ended up having to like beat the lumps out of them. <laughs> I want my home to be filled with color. So my living room I'm aiming for like a golden sunrise yellow area type thing it is a studio by the way but my living room area that's what color I want it to be so I'm really hoping like anything this will go with anything if it doesn't go with the couch it'll go with my bed if it doesn't go with my bed it'll go with my single chair if you see that there um they're gonna be my home and I belong to my grandma so I'm always happy to have something that she owned in her home that and these are just so freaking stinking cute, you know, just like whatever. So the next two items are actually much more like useful items um, besides the other items that I also found useful. Um, but they're more technical items. This is a router. It's not the router that's on the box. It's just this is the router that we currently have or we had. And then this is the router that we when Wi-Fi first became a thing, I believe. Um, this is the router that we had in our one of our apartments when I was younger. It's a Netgear router. It's super small. It's super hilarious to me. It's got this like antenna sticking out of it. Like even if you just compare it to the router that we got afterwards, like this thing is just like a little chunky hunky mess. It's still probably gonna work. That's my, my only concern is that because it's so old, it's not that old. It's like 2008 maybe no like 2000 maybe 2008 2010 like it's not that that old but i really just want to make sure that whatever company i go with which i'm kind of leaning towards cox right now will allow me to use this router because i don't want to buy one i don't need to pay for another thing you know what i mean it's a wireless router so and it has a serial number and i looked into it and i think it's fine that i don't know but i'm gonna be calling them sometime this weekend to figure out what's going on, if I can use this router and things like that. And that way I can cut down my costs because that's one of my main issues right now is making sure to not spend too much money on things that I don't really need to spend money on. So when I found this in the garage, I was like, oh shit, one thing down, now I just need to get a plunger. Like that was <laughs> legitimately what I said. So I was super happy. So the very last thing is not very glamorous, but I figure that if my mom wasn't gonna use them, I might as well take them. They're just like two end tables from Walmart. I think they're the, well, they're not Walmart. Maybe they're dollar store brand, whatever. They're just end tables that can be used probably anywhere. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna, first of all, I know I'm not gonna keep them black. I'll probably paint them. But if anything, I could put them like outside on my balcony or paint them a different color and use them as a bedside table, something like that or maybe even just stick them together and make them like a coffee table. Um, there's plenty of options that I can use these with. And even if I don't use them right now, I can use them later. So that's pretty much everything I got from my mom's garage haul. Everything I got was, in my opinion, super cute, super useful, super advantageous 
I've been using a lot of big words lately. I've been trying to prove to myself that I'm a smart person. But <laughs> I think it was super advantageous and super useful. So hopefully you liked this video. It's super small. I need to stop saying the word super, I think. It was a little short, but I just wanted to show you what I picked up lately. Like I've picked up some other things um, just in general, but I really want to have like a huge, I want to have like a complete apartment before I make another video about it as most people usually do. And for me, that's just not gonna take, that's just not gonna be as fast as like some other big YouTuber, bigger, big YouTube, any size more than four subscribers YouTuber. So I guess like tiny <laughs> YouTuber would have, I work on a regular on a regular hourly schedule. So I have to save up money in order to get things. And, but eventually um, I will have like a really nicely sized apartment. I really just want, or nicely decorated apartment in my, hopefully in my heart's desire is to have a nice apartment and then I can have a super cool video about it and it'll be great <laughs> but um thanks you for watching this and if you liked it please subscribe if you didn't like it that's also fine you're entitled to your opinion also but why but why though I'm just kidding leave a comment down below if you know anything about duty and Burke bags if you think this router will work out for me and what you think I should do with these end tables Thank you for watching this video. Please have a very amazing day and I will see you in another video at another time. Okay, bye.